Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melanie. For those of you who are new here and for those of you who are returning, thank you guys for coming back. I appreciate you all. I really, really do. Now, before we go ahead and get into today's video, don't forget to hit subscribe and join my family. Like this video, hit the post notification bell so you may become notified when I post new videos. And yes, yeah, stick around for the rest of this video. So today I'm just gonna be updating you guys on what school has been like during this whole pandemic. I know a lot has changed. I do have a few vlogs where you guys see my day-to-day -day while I'm home. It doesn't even look like I do school anymore um, because things are just so different. I went from going to school five days out of the week, sometimes on the weekends, to having classes twice per week and basically managing my own schedule. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I am a pharmacy student and I'm pursuing my PharmD. I'm in a three-year program because I was a pharmacist back in my home country and so I skipped a year. So I'm pretty much a P3, but this is my second year of pharmacy school. Now, what has that been like? Um, being a student and being on a student visa, it was a little bit scary when the pandemic first hit and the USCIS announced that they would be sending home international students because basically if school is online, you don't need to be in the country. Now, I'm not gonna air my, I'm not gonna air my opinions on that comment and that statement, especially because I am recording on November 3rd and today is election day and I really, really hope everyone went out there and exercised their right to vote. Um, but initially, I got a little bit scared, but then I quickly remembered, you know, pharmacy school does require a lot of face-to-face -face interactions. It does require rotations. And so I wouldn't be affected by that rule. Not really, not unless they were really, really pressing this issue. So I didn't worry about it. But anyway, I started back school in August. I had a nice long summer break. <laughs> I wanted to go home, but I couldn't because of the pandemic. We started off the semester doing i think maybe three or four courses so let me give you a rundown i was doing my core course which is integrated disease management it's it's a combination of pharmacology and therapeutics in one so instead of separating my school decided to put them together and it's like one integrated course so that's one of the heavier courses that we have to do um so we do idm i was also doing essentials of professional practice and what they do is basically they put all of those kind of random let me not call it random those courses that don't really have a place but they're very necessary for your professional growth and development during pharmacy school they kind of put them into that course um so at the time i was doing law that was a little bit hefty at first because i was scared i didn't know anything about the laws and rules but thank god that exam was not that bad and i do have a vlog when i was studying for that exam you can see how freaked out and how stressed i was um but i did both of those courses also for my IPPEs, and that is my initial pharmacy practice experience which is basically a rotation that you're supposed to do 160 hours in a community pharmacy first and then in a hospital this was my hospital segment and I didn't get to go because the pharmacists that I had signed up with, the health systems that I had signed up with had dropped all of their students. So I kept getting dropped during the summer. I had initially planned to do it early May and then go home. And then I was like, whatever rotation I get, I'll take it, but they dropped everyone. So what my school had to do was to kind of fix that situation. They cut down the required hours and then some of the information they're doing by Via zoom classes so a facilitator or a pharmacist from the hospital will come on the zoom call and they'll kind of go through some of the information that or some of the concepts that we should have been learning um, at the hospital then we can just go in for two weeks back to back and get that hands-on physical experience outside of that we also have a course called leadership and professional development where we basically learn leadership skills and of course professional development so for example you work on your bio you work on your cv you do like a mock interview you build a website um 
looking back at that course i really really like it i re i wish i had time to be excited about that course but it does just feel like another thing to do like while you're doing the course you just want to get it over with because you are so stressed and overwhelmed with everything else that you're doing so how have i been doing mentally i've been doing much better than last year this semester the schoolwork is still very difficult i just completed my psych section of idm so we did all of the psychology topics like um, epilepsy anxiety depression schizophrenia um, parkinson's alzheimer's we did all of those topics already and everyone knows that psych is no walk in the park um, but we found a way to get through it what i've been doing so far is i have classes on mondays and fridays and then the rest of the days are what you call self-study days so they'll post short lectures short but they post these lectures and give you guided questions and you're supposed to prepare for class and then when you get to class you just kind of go through the cases work through the cases um and you should be prepared of course we get caught up in different things i mean most of my mornings i spend going to the gym i always find something to do in my house do i love doing school online i have mixed reviews it has its pluses and it has its negatives um back when i was going to school i would utilize my full day because i would get up from 6 37 and i wouldn't come home until 8 so i had all of that time distraction free to get everything that i had to do done for school i would force myself to spend my afternoons um rereading lectures watching or catching up on classes um starting my assignments and because people were at school or your friends were there you could do these things in groups being at home and managing your own time is so difficult the time goes so fast now that i'm here alone and i think that's like the biggest thing with doing school online or going from an in-person setting to now doing it online it's not wanting to wash the dishes because i like having a clean apartment and i can't see dishes in my sink and be watching a lecture like it's gonna drive me crazy so what i've been doing is i will prioritize my day i do make a to-do list on microsoft to do and i try to hit that to-do list every day i am doing youtube and i mean i view youtube as i should be working or i should have been on rotations so i take one of my free days to plan my content do my videos and i try to edit maybe around the weekend so i can have the videos out um it doesn't always work that way but i do try my best to dedicate a day to doing that because i would have been on rotations anyway i also use my breaks to clean my apartment or pick up small things because i know a dirty apartment is gonna make me go crazy so what i do is after i've completed a lecture or after i've completed an assignment i take a 20 minute break and within that 20 minutes i use 10 minutes to maybe make my bed clear up my bedroom or you know pack the the dishwasher clean up my kitchen i'll i'll just quickly do something so my apartment always stays you know nice and clean i also am very strict about going to the gym unless it's a very hectic or heavy day i make sure i go to the gym for at least an hour i don't always get to do like a full workout but i prefer to burn 200 calories than nothing at all so how have i been able to maintain my near perfect gpa and i'm kind of sad it's not perfect but i'm not gonna be one of those people um so far my gpa has been a solid 3.97 i've been constantly getting a's and i'm grateful for that i'm very happy because i do put the work in all the time i always prioritize school as being first nothing comes before school at all and that's like a conversation that i'm happy that i had with my boyfriend he knows that when it's something for school it's something for school and everything else comes second to that or somewhere after that school takes first priority it's only three years let's just get it out the way so how i maintain that gpa i haven't been able to do it by myself i did not do it by myself i 
had to have help and I feel like it's no different being at school than being here at home you still need people that you can rely on you still need a group you still need your people and i have my people i have friends that they constantly message me and ask me about assignments they don't do assignments without me we don't do quizzes without each other so having all of those responsibilities i have had to be really on top of things you guys know i love to plan i do have my trusty planner right here I have a physical planner and I also do, as I said, my to-do list on my computer. I wake up in the morning and the first thing that I do is I check my emails. I pin the stuff that are important or the things that I need to go back to. So I just hit a pin or a flag on those. And then the ones that I can respond to right away, I take action on those ones. There are others that are just for information purposes. Great. Um, if I need to make notes of a date, I do that. So. The email is informing me of like a meeting on a day. I put the day into my to-do list right away or on my planner. And then the, the ones that I've pinned or flagged that requires an action that I can't do right at the moment, I go back to in the evening and then I keep doing that. I keep prioritizing. So what will happen for next semester? I don't know. I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Um, my school did a bent flex this semester, which means that we could go to classes if we wanted to in person and then we could access it via Zoom. I was tempted to go in person, but I was like, I'm not getting it any differently. It's still live, you know what I mean? But next semester, we don't know what's happening as yet. I do know that we have a lab that is mandatory for us to be in person and, you know, I'm gonna have to do that. But I, I, like, I like the freedom of waking up. <laughs> at eight and uh, turning my camera off and my hair is a mess and i don't have to turn my camera on i really like that i like the fact that while they're talking or teaching i can have my earphones in my ears and make my breakfast and make tea or make my bed or do something else i like the fact that i can somewhat multitask while i'm in zoom school so i am not i'm not mad at it um do I plan to keep up this GPA? Of course, I'm still pushing hard. I'm still trying to get all the A's that I can. I think if that's all that there is to you, if all you have is a great GPA, now is the time for you to start working on other aspects of yourself and adding other things to your CV and becoming well-rounded. I not only have a good GPA, but I do have my leadership positions. I have something that I'm passionate about. I have this side project of YouTube, which I decided to do because I wasn't working. I can't work as an international student. So all the rest of the students can say, hey, I was at CBS for four or five years. I was at Publix. I was here. I was there. I can't say that. All that I can say is, hey, I was doing my schoolwork and I had a few positions. So I said, hey, what else can I do? And I find all of these things. I work on all of the things that I'm weak at and I try every day to learn, to learn those things. So take this online school thing as a blessing. And it's okay. It's okay to feel overwhelmed. I think people feel like they have to be crushing everything and that's not the truth i think i'm lucky i work hard but i'm also lucky that i have the situation that i have where all that i need to focus on is is school i tip my hat off every day to all of my friends that have a husband and has children and has to take their kids to school or has to monitor their kids while they're doing zoom school as well i don't know how they do it because i wouldn't be able to do it um, all I have to focus on is me. That's it. And if, if there are times when I get overwhelmed or I fall short, I have a very supportive spouse. He will step in and assist me as well. So that's basically what has been happening. I'm now at the point where I've selected my rotations for next year and I'm pretty excited. I can't wait to go on rotations and just see what everything is like. I've never worked in a pharmacy here before, well, a hospital pharmacy, and I'm excited to see what these hospitals are like and what the system is like. I'm really looking forward to next semester. So guys, that's it. That was just my update on what's been happening during school. I mean, 
I know this is a hard time for everyone. It can be easy working from home or doing school from home, but um, if we have to do it to have this pandemic be over and have the number of COVID cases going down, then so be it. I'll do it for as long as I have to. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Go ahead and also comment down below what you've been doing during this pandemic, whether you work from home or do school from home. What are some tips that you have and how your time has been going? Have you started something new, a passion project? Do you feel like you're going crazy as well? Or are you doing just fine? Do you prefer staying home and doing things online? Or would you, are you dying to go back into the office? Let me know, guys. Thank you all for watching. Bye.